Can you blow kisses? <laughs> it used to be like every day was a Friday or it had to be a Friday. And when it was Friday, it seemed like I had to go out and do something and party and spend a bunch of money and use drugs and alcohol or I wasn't enjoying life and having fun. Now, um, you know, like the social life that I have is revolved around him and I, and I enjoy it. You know, like I'm okay to stay at home with my son. I don't have to go out running around causing trouble or, you know, destroying my life anymore and harming other people to, to have fun. I can spend time with my son at home and we can go to the park and, or just go for a walk. And I just, I feel accomplished. I feel content. I remember getting up early in the morning was something that was not my strong point. I, I would call in work and call in school or just not show up. And uh, when I got to the healing place for eight months straight, I was up by 6 a.m. every day and it just got to be natural. And uh, now when he starts crying, I'm able to get up. Come here, Bob. I'm able to get up and just start going. And I'm, you know, the healing place. As soon as I woke up, I get myself together and I had a chore. And it's the same thing, but with him, it's not a chore. It's a it's a responsibility that uh, is also a privilege to take care of him. He looks up to me. I'm the world to him, and you know that just motivates me to keep going. Can I have a bite? Mmm, that's good. So I know a lot of guys that there's a lot of things in their life. We call it the wreckage of our past, the mistakes that we have made that that still haunt us, and. There's a lot of fear that comes around facing it. There's a lot of resentment because we feel like we've built this huge obstacle that we can't overcome. I know that it's possible to be a single father and just to be a father in general. You know, if it starts out on the weekends or whatever, you know, just the, the possibility to be present in their kids' lives. I know that that's not gonna keep them sober but it's a motivation to get guys to want to do the right thing. Um, just those little bits of accomplishment build confidence to do the next thing, you know? And before you know it, there's guys that now they have their kids back and now they're going back to school and, and they're turning around and, and doing great things with their lives when in a, a short time ago, they were homeless, you know? They, they were in jail. They, you know, kept going in and out of the hospital for overdose and they didn't know a way out. And it's more than just put the drugs and alcohol down. It's find a new way of life. And for those fathers, um, the kids, it's important for them to be a part of it because not only do we consider ourselves hopeless to get away from drugs and alcohol, we consider ourselves to be hopeless, to be productive members of society, to, to be a good man. And I know that for me, being a good man is being a father to my son. Did you eat the whole sucker? Oh, no, 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 no. Thank you for sharing. Can you say hi?